So in this video we begin, we are going to solve a problem, but we begin by introducing a very important concept. In a previous video, one of the, the videos in the group theory course, we introduced the concept of automorphism. Um, so let G be a group and G be an element of that group. Um, we claim or that phi of G taking from the group G to G itself this phi of G is an automorphism where phi G of H of an element H H in G is given by G times H times G inverse so we say that this mapping is a automorphism. So in order for phi of g to be a automorphism, we need two conditions. First, phi has to be a bijection, and b, phi g of a, b, two elements a and b in the group g, they have to be equal to phi g of a times phi g of b. Okay, so we, are, we have to prove that this phi of g is an automorphism. So we have to prove that phi is a bijection, meaning we have to prove that phi is one to one and onto, or it is a uh, injective and subjective, right? And then we have to prove this condition. Okay, let us begin with the bijection. Before I move to the proof, let me say that this automorphism is uh, sometimes called a symmetry, okay? And I do like this word too. Okay, so we begin the proof for A. We have to prove that phi is a bijection, so we have to prove that it is injective and subjective. Okay, let us prove that phi is injective. Okay, let us say we have for some A and B in G, phi G of A equals phi G of B. Well, that means what? Um, it means do not forget that phi of g is g h g inverse so phi g of a means g h g inverse equals phi g of b it means g b g inverse so we are going to apply phi g inverse to both sides and see what we get. So at the end of the day we are getting phi g of a and we will do now phi g inverse of a and phi g of b and phi g of b. So we have to apply the inverse to this. So g a g inverse here and g b equals g inverse here. Now we apply the inverse so we are going to it will be so this will be the element right and the inverse will be G inverse here and G because it's the other way around right the inverse okay and here the inverse will be G inverse times g, right, where this is the element. But this is a group, right? So what we have here is the identity, because it is associative, right? I'm not going to do step by step. This is the identity. So this one for the left side, this is b, and this one for the right, uh, sorry, this is a, and this one for the right side, this is b. Okay, so phi 
is injective, right? Because to phi g of if phi g of a equals phi g of b, that implies that a equals b. So phi is injective. We have now to prove that phi is subjective. We have now to prove that it is subjective. Okay, let us consider an arbitrary element. We are going from G to G. Okay, but let us consider an element H here. Okay, that's why I like to call it G prime, but I did not do it this time. Because this is an automorphism, so I don't want to make any distinction between these groups. Okay, let us say that we have H in G. Let us say we have H in G. Okay, we consider the element H as G inverse G inverse H G. So this element will be hitted by phi of G, right? But what is phi of G, phi G of this element? That will be H. Okay, so that proves that phi is subjective. Okay, so since phi is inject is injective and surjective, phi is bijective. Okay, it is proved that phi is a bijection. Okay, in order to be a an automorphism, we still have to prove this property phi g of a b equals phi g of a times phi g of b. A quick note here, if phi is a bijection, we can also call it a permutation. Si since we are taking from g to g and we have phi, phi where phi is a bijection, just proved, so phi is a permutation of g. Okay, let us see. So, for all a and b in g, let us see what is phi g of a times phi g of b. Okay, very simple. Phi g of a, this will be g a g inverse, right? And this will be g b g inverse, right? Okay, but we are in a group, so we can associate the terms, right? So here we will have the identity, these two will disappear, right? And we very easily end up with g a b g inverse. Considering this a b as an element, what we have here is phi g of a b. Okay, so phi phi g of a times phi g of b equals phi g of a b and the second condition is proved. So phi is a bijection and this condition is also proved. So it just proved that phi is an automorphism. Okay, so not only phi of g is a permutation, as I just said, it's a permutation of the set g. It also preserves its group structure, and that is very important. And this kind of map is called a automorphism, automorphism of G, right? So a an application of group G in itself. And very important, this sort of uh, mapping is called conjugation by G.